Welcome to Tales of Ada, where we discuss and explore Middle Earth. This video will cover the significance of Erandil the Marino in the world of Middle Earth. Firstly, for those who don't know Erandil, he was a half elf born in Gondolin to two of the House of Hadal, a mortal, and Idril Celebrindor, the daughter of High King of the Noldor, Turgon. At the age of seven, Gondolin fell, and together with the refugees of Gondolin, Earendil fled the city and settled in Arvanian, near the havens at the mouths of Syrian. Later, Earendil married Elwing, descendants of Bernan and Luthien. They had two children, Elrond and Eros, who were twins. From the havens, Earendil Erendil went on many voyages as his heart was filled with a longing to the sea. Unfortunately, when Erendil was away on one of his voyages, the sons of Fëanor, bound by their oath, attacked the havens and committed the third kin slaying. But Elwing, instead of being captured, jumped into the sea with the Silmaril of Beren and Luthien. But Olmo bore her up and she came to Erendil. Together they decided to seek Valinor, and to plead to the Valar for aid against Morgoth. The Valar granted Erendil's request, and the host of the Valar came to fight in the War of Wrath, which we have a separate video on. In the War of Wrath, Erendil fought many dragons, and alongside the great eagles of Manwë. He slew Ancalagon the Black, and therefore turned the tide of the war. And here we come to the legacy of Earendil. For Vingalotte, his ship was put into the sky by the Valar, and with the Silmaril on his brow, he shone a star of hope for Middle Earth, being called Gil Estel which is Sindarin for Star of High Hope. The Star of Earendil led Edain to Numenor at the start of the Second Age, and because of that, the land of Numenor was also known as Elena, meaning Star Wards. The Star of Earendil remained a symbol of Numenor and a revered sign by the Numenorians until the island fell under shadow and corruption. In the Third Age, Earendil was remembered well as his son Elrond yet dwelt in Middle-earth. Bilbo recites the Song of Earendil in the Fellowship of the Ring, recalling the life of Earendil. Later in the Lord of the Rings, the Earendil, the star of Earendil, comes back in the form of the file of Galadriel, a small glass file, into which Galadriel, the Lady of Lorien, collects the light of Earendil from the waters of Lothlórien. The file is later given as a gift to Frodo Baggins when he and the Fellowship leave Lorien. The Star of Erendil is left unused until Frodo comes to Mordor. There he and Sam use it to ward off the attacks of Shelob. And there Frodo exclaims, Ay Erendil Elenion and Kalimer, which means Hail Erendil, brightest of stars, in Quenya, 